Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go I am here at the Argyle Motocross Track and I am joined by Austin and Josh from Electron Company. Today we're going to talk about these brand new YZ EMX dirt bikes that they have coming out. And this one here is kind of special. This is the one that started the whole thing for Electron Company. I'm going to let Austin and Josh talk about this bike, the beginnings of it, and how it became the pinnacle of electric dirt bikes. Yeah, so this bike right here, it's a mid 90s two stroke frame. Uh, the idea behind it was to take one of our plug and play EMX kits off of the website, which yep. is non-chassis specific, slap it into a bike and see if you could really compete at a competitive level and do well. And we did that about two years ago in Enduro Cross with Josh as a rider. Uh -huh. This was kind of our proof of concept just to see if we could actually take one of our kits, build a competitive bike and go race it. And it actually did really well. There's a couple things we wanted to test with that. The biggest being with the electric bikes, not having gears in the clutch. Yeah. I felt like that would be a huge advantage. Just not having to worry about stalling the bike or shifting gears, things like that as you're going through like a log matrix or rocks, firewood pits, things like that. Basically everything that's designed to get you hung up on the course, right? And get you stuck. So not having to expend mental energy um, having to focus on a clutch and gears was a huge, huge advantage for me. Okay. All right, so, and then moving on to the, the latest iteration of the, the Electron Company offering. This is the YZ EMX. This is a bolt-on kit for your dirt bike. And wh while we're filming here, guys, one thing I did want to ask Josh is, of the, the plethora of, of dirt bikes to choose from, why the Yamaha chassis? Why the Yamaha platform? So a couple of reasons we went with the Yamaha. Um, it's a bike that's very familiar to me. Um, I've ridden Yamahas for years. And we also feel that with the stock Yamahas having the reverse engine design, so it's intake up in front, exhaust out, out the back. Okay. The frame design is a little bit different than like a traditional 450 or 250F. Okay. Um, and it lends to fitting a larger capacity battery in there. Okay. Not that you can't do it on a standard 450 frame, um, but the Yamaha was just a little bit of better orientation for that. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. So you can, with the, with the frame orientation and the way that the motor was built from the factory, it allows for more space to, to get a bigger capacity battery. Exactly. In the frame. That is correct. Perfect. And then as far as the, as far as anybody's watching this, if you're new to electric dirt bikes, you probably don't really know or care what amp hours are or volts or watts, but covering it quickly in this video, what are some of the specs on this motor controller and battery setup? So this motor is a QS138 with internal gear reduction. Okay. Um, and we offer two different battery sizes. Um, we have a four and a half kilowatt hour battery or a 5.7 kilowatt hour battery. Okay. Pack. Okay. And then the controller, is that a, what, what kind of controller are y'all running on? So there's two, two controller options, just like the two battery options that Josh had mentioned. Yep. One is the EM260 controller, which is tried and true. We've been selling that with the EMX kits for a long time. A lot of hours on that. Yep. We understand it very well and it works very well. Mm -hmm. That will do 28 kilowatts wow. out of the box. So that's about 38 horsepower. Yeah. And then we have the TrueMoto Zapper, yeah. which currently isn't in these bikes today. Yeah. We'll, we'll go back to the shop, probably do another video on that. Yep. Um, and those will do up to 60 horsepower or 50 around 50 kilowatts. But this, this bike is about limited to 35 kilowatts, which would be about 47 horsepower okay. with the Zapper control. So what about the weight of this whole bike? 242 pounds, uh -huh. so we're right there with how much a- competitive four-stroke bike would be? Exactly. Okay. And we have a 53% weight distribution, right. which means the, the bike's a little bit 
pass heavy. In a motocross world, that's desirable. You don't want it to be too much, right. but you want the, light, the front to be a little bit light. You don't so want the, we don't want the weight in the front. Totally. So we want just a slight rear bias, and we were able to get that with this bike. So very, we're okay. very happy with that. And what about runtime? So people in this industry who are coming from a gas bike, they're just familiar with putting gas in their bike and they can ride all day long. What about runtime? What can somebody expect to get on runtime for something like this? It's a great question. Right now with this bike, you calculate it out. We're about within 5% of what a Varg can do. Okay. So I would expect like trail riding somewhere in between the 30 and 40 mile range, probably oh, wow. closer to 40 miles. Yeah. On a track, I think, Josh, you're getting with charging in between because most sessions are 15 to 20 minute yeah. sessions. So like four so sessions? You'll get through a 15 or 20 minute session. You come in, charge it. That should be able to get you through the whole day. Oh, wow. By just rinsing and repeating. You do your 15, 20 minute session or it's a race, whatever. Yeah. You come in, throw it on the fast charger. And by the time your session's up again, you're able to get another 15 oh, right or 20 on. minutes out of it. Perfect. And this is this charge on a 110? This. You can do it on both, but I was specifically talking about a 220 volt okay, charge. So that's cool. important notation that in order to get fast charge on the Stark or any of these high-end bikes uh -huh. with big batteries, yeah. you do need 220. Okay, very good. Well, anything else you want to talk about before we go ride? Uh, no, I think I think it's the most exciting part is riding it. So yeah. let's get right. into it. Let's do it. Josh, let's go. Uh, uh, you got long sleeves. Uh, you can't see. You got the long sleeves. That's what it is.